The transfer news is heating up as we head towards January. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Mason Holke, I think he's been linked with Rangers quite a few times before, but according to the sun, yes, according to the sun, not that big man in the sky, that shitey excuse of a newspaper, um, Rangers are monitoring Mason Holgate as parent club Everton consider recalling the defender from his Southampton loan move. Um, for some reason I thought Mason Holgate was like 23, turns out he's 27, that's an absolute shock to the system. But regardless of his age, um, he did join Southampton on loan in August and Everton are looking to recall him. Now, I don't think this is simply because Everton want to, you know, play him. I think it's simply because he's just not getting enough games at Southampton. He's played a total of five matches for Southampton in the Championship and, you know, that's not an awful lot of games. He's played no cup games, nothing for them, no FA Cup. I mean, literally just five appearances across the board for Southampton. And that tells me that they'll recall him and want him to go to a team where he's going to get more appearances. Can we really guarantee that Mason Holgate would be getting more? I mean, I think he would get more than five if he came to Rangers. But I look at this right now, right? Clement, if Goldson's fit, is starting every game. Then he seems to be favouring Leon Balogun a hell of a lot. After that, you know, of course, you've got Ben Davies and Jod Suter. Like Mason Holgate, Premier League experience. I don't really rate Mason Holgate. I'm not going to pretend that I do. But where would he rank in amongst those centre backs? Like, yeah, I'm under no illusion that I think we do need to bring in defenders, even though you like on paper, I think the four that we've got and you, you are in Leon King, you've five defenders there. You think on paper that looks good. It does, because I, I really rate John Suter, right? And Goldson. Yeah, I think he's it's a tough one with Goldson. Like, you know, when we get beat, we're all slating him. But then when you're winning, it's like you forget about it. Like the guy has been in there, he's been consistent. I still think there's a loser mentality within the guy, so I don't want to sing his praises too much. Leon Balogun, I do rate a lot, but he is old. Um, and then you've got Ben Davies, so I just don't really rate. But, interestingly enough, there is two Nottingham Forest defenders that have been banished from training. One, formerly of Rangers, and the second, used to play for Aberdeen. Any guessers? Any takers? I'll let you know who they are. Joe Worrell and Scott McKenna. Now, I'm not under any illusion. It would not be cheap to bring those two guys in. And hell, it's not like we're going to sign two fucking defenders. We don't need two defenders, man. But, like, why not float the idea of a, of a swap deal? Ben Davies for, like, Joe Worrell or something. See, see, if they, see if they fucking take it, you know? Well, but that makes Ben Davies feel feel out of favour. Well, the guy's mince, right? The guy is mince. It's mince without carrots. That's what Ben Davies is. Even worse not even your normal plate of mince, fucking mince without carrots, what's that all about? Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, if we want Mason Holgate on loan, I'm not going to completely object to it, but I think we need options up the other end of the pitch. That's what we need. That's what we need, man. And I look like if we're willing to side like Premier League players that aren't getting chances at their club, is there any strikers in the top flight of England that aren't really getting the chances that they deserve? Like... I'm, I'm looking across the board. I mean, there's no point really looking at any teams in the top six, if I'm being honest. See, the, that's what gets me. See the amount of abuse that Scott McTominay does? I would love to sign Scott McTominay. See the amount of goals the guy gets, and United fans still hate him? Fuck, I'd take it. Because obviously, you know, he wouldn't need to have any sort of defensive responsibility with us. He'd just be a goal machine. But I think Scott McTominay side not alone... I can't see it because even though he's not rated, he's rated by the managers and he always gets played at United. But it's going to be a busy January, guys. It's going to be a long January as well. Loads of games. But, you know, before we sign anybody, we've a lot of games to get through until, what, the 2nd of January, which I think is the final game against Kilmarnock. So we'll have to wait and see. But that's where we're going to leave this video. Do you guys want Mason Holgate? Personally, I'm not too bothered. I think we need other areas of the pitch strength and, like, as bad as I think we have been defensively, like we've only considered eight goals in the league. And I think we need to strengthen a left back more than anything. 
to be honest, centre backs they do need strengthened, but I don't think it's a uh, you know the, the most glaring issued part of the team. But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below and peace.